All right, all right. It is election day here in the United States. And while it is still too early to call, I am getting prepared to celebrate. Uh, yeah, because it looks like it's going to be a good night. So while a lot of us are getting prepared to celebrate out there, I know you're getting yourself a nice little something to drink and maybe a beautiful cigar. So this is what I'm going to crack tonight. Twenty-one year old baby. This bottle is old enough to drink your bottle, <laughs> and a beautiful Cuban Cohiba. Now, uh, a lot of people always ask me, "Oh, how do you know if it's a real Cuban? How do know? How do I know if I got a fake Cuban? I went on vacation and uh, I think I got a fake Cuban." I get that all the time, but also a lot of guys already in the cigar community know, uh, you know, how to see if it's a real Cuban or not. But tonight we're going to cover a little known trick on how to check if you have a real Cuban or not. And this is goes along hand in hand uh, with all the other little tricks, how to know if you got a Cuban. I keep it in this beautiful glass because I was waiting to celebrate tonight. I know it's still early to call, but I'm getting ready to celebrate, my friends. Now, this is a little hack that I learned. Uh, let me show you. I bought this, this uh, watch maker's loop, jeweler's loop. Uh, off the internet because I wanted to get you know, I wanted to have tools for my watches. I wanted to look, you know, look at my watches, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And when I was on the internet, while I was on Amazon, I was looking for a watchmaker's loop or jeweler's loop. And I, I came across, and I wanted one with a light, right? Because from all the things I read, uh, a one with a light is better for you. So I came across this one, which has a light and also a black light. And I was like, ah, what am I going to do with the black light? But as I read the advertisement, it said, uh, oh, the black light, you can tell counterfeit money or whatever. You know, so I ordered it. Yeah, it's, this thing was less than 10 bucks. Uh, I don't know, it was five, six, 10 bucks, whatever it was. Uh, if you're interested, I'll include the link below. Well, if you are a cigar smoker, you must pick this up. You have to get this exact item. So... Anyway, so this was for my watch, for my watches, for my watch collection, right? But a couple of years ago, I went on vacation to the Caribbean, and I stopped in the Casa de Habano. I met a guy there, I met a friend, and we've become friends on social media, and we've been communicating back and forth. He watches a lot of my videos. So he says, Prophet, I just saw that you got a black light. A, a, a loop with a black light. I've saw it in one of your videos. And I was like, yeah, yeah, Jimmy, yeah. I just got it. And he was like, I'm going to show you a little trick. When you have Cohibas, there's also one more Cuban cigar brand that you can use the black light on. But we'll cover that in another video. So uh, I'm going to show you a little trick where, along with everything else, how you check if you got an official Cuban Cohiba, you can shine the black light on it and tell if it's genuine or not. So I'm gonna show you that little hack tonight. All right. So, this is a beautiful, beautiful Cuban Cohiba. So we all know about the head inside the head. We all know about the hologram. We all know about the fingerprint. We all know about the little holograms around the band. We all know about the uh, Havana Cuba, the fonts. You know, there's a lot of things we already know, us in the cigar community, about how to tell a legitimate Cohiba. Also, we know about the three caps. All right, now I'm going to show you a little known way how to check your Cohiba with a black light. As a matter of fact, I don't know anybody else uh that's ever mentioned this to me except uh you know my boy from the uh casa de habano all right down for a second 
two of this Rolex shot. All right. This is the Jewelers Loop with a light and black light. I recommend that everybody pick this up in one of my last video in one of my videos. I forget, but I'll put a link to this exact one where I got it on Amazon uh, in the bottom of this video. I, it was like five bucks. I don't know. Well worth it. Well worth it. All right. So that's the light. Switch it this way. That's the black light. Now, I'm going to show you how this works. So you see that, right? Okay. Beautiful. We see the holograms. We see the Cuba, Cuba. We see the Indian head. We see like the fingerprint. We see the beautiful fonts up close. Right. Okay. But that's all we see, right? All right. Okay. Now I have to turn off the lights so I can show you what we're going to see with the black light. You can actually also also do this in low lighting, but the lights here are very bright. Uh, these are LED lights. So I'm going to turn them down and I'm going to show you a little known trick how to tell if your Cohibas are genuine. All right. So we'll switch on the black light. Turn off these lights for a moment. Bring this up to the camera. You can see we see nothing. Now check this out. Right there, you see it? There is actually numbers embedded in the label, C-H, B, and then a series of numbers. Ha, 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 look, without the black light. Just a normal light. It is not visible to the naked eye. You don't see anything, right? Let me just get in focus here. Nothing. Nothing. Just a camera. Nothing. Black light. <laughs> yeah, that is a uh, a little known security feature embedded into the ban of the Cuban Cohibas. I'm pretty sure that would only work on the newer Cohibas. If you have like vintage stick, whatever in your collection, that's probably not going to work. It only works on the newer bands. There's one other Cuban cigar that I know of that that works on. And uh, but we'll leave that for another video. Again, this is a cool little thing, not only if you collect watches, but also if you're a cigar smoker, uh, you should pick this up if you want to authenticate your Cohibas. I'm your host, Richard Prophet. And if you're into watches, please join us in the Matrix every Sunday night where we get into Rolexes. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, we're getting ready to celebrate, my brother. Ha, ha, ha.